Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? For Lychee Friday, first Friday in December. Oh my goodness, like the holidays are here, the holiday season anyway. So hopefully you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, it was a little different around here. Um, I'll share more on that later, but yeah. Hi, Teresa, how are you? Um, yeah, so thanks for joining us today. So you guys, I want to actually... Um, Tell you guys what we're going to be like playing with today because i'm super excited this is a stamp set that i have totally fallen in love with and if you haven't seen it yet because it's not in the catalog it's a part of the uh let's see what's it called the fitting florets um collection i guess i would say so there's a stamp set I, hi philomena thanks for joining us so there is the framed floret stamp set i did share this um on our last facebook live and then the framed florets dies and they're doing this really great thing where they're naming the stamp set and the dies the same thing so i don't have to learn two things two different names so yes framed florets stamp set and framed florets dies those are the two items that are in this collection that are going to be in our next mini catalog then the framed and festive stamp set is part of this collection. Hi, uh, Kay. And thanks for sharing, Philomena. I appreciate that. Um, but yes, yeah, so the framed and festive stamp set and then this designer series paper, which is called the Fitting Florets designer series paper. These two things are only available while supplies last. Um, I will tell you that the gold swirls have already sold out. So if you didn't get those, don't even just like don't even worry about it because you can't get them any longer but so again with that being said the stamp set and the designer series paper hello Beth are also while supplies last so I wanted to make sure to highlight that stamp set because this is one of those and only while supplies last right so you never know things go quickly around here at times right um, so fun sentiments in here. Hi, Susie. Thanks for joining. Everybody's popping on. I'm super excited. It gives me lots of energy when I see lots of names popping up um, saying hello. So thanks for your comments and saying hi and for being here with us today. Um, okay, so sentiments in this stamp set. We have, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a little bit of a cold too. So I'm like kind of like froggy voiced sounding, I think. Uh, Merry Christmas. Fa la la. Tis the season to be jolly. I think that's super cute. And I love, always love that mixed font like that, right? Um, from our home to yours, a little bit of a glare there. Um, from all of us, this one says Noel. This one is, may this season be filled with peace and joy. Beautiful sentiment right there. And then have yourself a merry little Christmas. So super fun sentiments. This is the stamp set we're going to be playing with today. Again, only while supplies last. I will give you all of the item codes and everything that we're gonna use um, on our projects today. So if you're interested in getting the stamp set, don't wait because like I said, those gold swirls that are part of this collection. Hi, Trish. I hope you're feeling better. I think I just saw your email that said that you're homesick with the flu. So hopefully you start feeling better soon if you're not already. But at kind of as a, what, like blessing in disguise, you get to hang out on Facebook Live today since you don't have to go to work, right? Um, okay, so yes, make sure you get this stamp set while you can, right? And then we're also playing with the, um, let me make sure I get the name of it right, the Black and White Designs Designer Series Paper. Vina, hello, 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 thanks for joining us. So this super fun paper, I'll share this again um, when I flip the camera down, because this is fun black and white paper. It was kind of part of maybe the Halloween suite in the catalog. Um, but I thought it would be super fun to make holiday cards with it too. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay. So can't wait to share all of that with you again. Like I said, sorry, I'm like way off camera there. Um, I will share that paper when I flip the camera down, we'll be able to see it a little bit better. Um, then also, and I have this like big swingy, you guys can't really say, see, but like these are my new favorite thing, these big swingy sweaters. But when I like move back and forth, it swooshes everything on my table. So like I gotta, and it's also like one you can like, it's kind of like you're wearing a blanket so you can like wrap yourself up in it. So <laughs> good, I'm glad you're feeling better. Tama flu. All right. I'll have to remember that. Hoping to not get the flu. Um, yeah, I'm like knocking on knocking on my table right now. No, oh, storm. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, storm. Hey, look, that was me. Okay, he's, yeah. Okay, well, hopefully he figures it out. So he thinks someone's at the door now since I just knocked on the table. I was knocking on the table, storm, because I don't want to get the flu, okay? He doesn't understand this concept, right? <laughs> what dog would? Okay, so let's see. Oh, also, you guys, did you hear? I've been meaning to um, 
yeah, post on Facebook and email about it too, but the clearance rack has been updated. So go check that out. Things always go super fast over there. Um, but I think the, I'm trying to remember what that promotion was called, but the set, the die sets that they kind of just put out for a little while that coordinated with stamp sets in the annual catalog, those are on the um, clearance rack. So what's still available? So when you click, you can just go to stampinup.com and click on specials and then you'll see the clearance rack tab. Click on that and there are pictures of everything um, that is on the clearance rack. And things are like super deep discounted. There are dies, there are a bunch of stamp sets, there's designer series paper, there's ribbon, embellishments, uh, embossing folders. I mean, there's like some of everything. There's so much good stuff on there. So check that out. Maybe a little Stampin' Up! for Christmas for yourself, right? Stocking stuffers for your <laughs> for yourself, right? Do you have to do that? Buy your own, <laughs> buy your own presents and stocking stuffers? Maybe, I don't know, right? Or ideas for your family. That's another good thing too. And then also we have the... <clears throat> Let's see, I have the carryover list and the last chance products list. And I, I'm trying to remember if I shared this um, on our last Facebook Live. I honestly can't remember, but this list is pretty darn long. You can see like in very teeny tiny print, you also would be able to go to stampinup.com and click on the last chance banner. And then again, it'll give you pictures of everything that is now only available while supplies last. That's everything. And there is a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of stuff from the um, holiday mini catalog that is retiring. Some of the things, these columns over here show if it's a discounted item or not. So a bunch of things are deep discounted up to like 60% off. So check that out. Then kind of in comparison, this is the carryover list. This is the list of things from the um, basically holiday mini catalog that are going to carry over to either our next annual catalog or probably our next mini catalog. Um, <laughs> yes, that's cute. Okay, good, Anna. We're not alone then. I was like, is that embarrassing that I'm like admitting that? Um, but yes, you've certainly ordered yourself some Stampin' Up! Christmas gifts as well. Okay, that's good. I feel better now. <laughs> anyway, okay. So like I said, as you can see in comparison, this is one page. Um, I think this is like one, two, one, two, three or three or four. I guess it's three, three and a half pages. Um, of a much smaller font print, right? Hi, Ashley. Thanks for joining us. Anyway, so my point is lots and lots of stuff. I don't normally have that door open, and I'm just realizing that. I gotta close that door. Oh, it's because Storm, the puppy. Hey, you're causing trouble, aren't you? <laughs> That's so funny. I looked at him and pointed, and his ears went back like, I'm sorry, Mom. What did I do? Okay, sorry, bud. Just, just chill out. Why don't you go lay down, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, sorry. So I was like, I normally have that door closed. And then I realized Storm must have opened it. So yes, I'm already like a million miles a minute as usual around here. So I think that's it though, right? So just make sure, check those things out. Check out the clearance rack. Check out the last chance list. There's lots of stuff on sale is basically my point. So go check it out at stampinup.com. Make sure you use the host code too. It's on my blog um, at gatheringinspiration.com. And I'll give that to you also. Because um, then you get all the fun freebie stuff from me as well from Facebook Live too, okay? So um, yeah, last chance stuff too is like I said, only available while supplies last. So nothing is guaranteed anymore. Um, I guess other than maybe what's on the carryover list, it still go could go into like back order status or something or unorderable for a little while too. So if you want something, just make sure you get it while you can. I always have to make sure to say that. Um, okay, I think we're good. Let's do our first drawing for the iridescent rhinestones. I love, 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 love these things. I have been using them so much on my holiday projects this season. So perfect for your holiday projects as well. So names are in the basket right here. If you shared last uh, the last Facebook Live video, if you shared my class to go kit posts, or if you signed up for my email list, your name is in the basket. Okay, so I'm gonna shake these names around. And can you, you can't see, but I am, I'm shaking them around. You can probably hear it. Okay, uh, let's see, we have one name. Oops, ooh, ooh, I dropped it. Okay, here we go. There we go, one name in my hand. Miss Pam Simmons. All right, congratulations, Pam. You are the proud winner, owner now of the Iridescent Rhinestone. So I will get those sent out to you. Congratulations. Okay, then I always have to dump these out and get the next name set for the next drawing. Okay, so 
I think I mentioned that those gold swirls were sold out. That was part of that fitting Florence collection, but I just happen to have an extra package of them here. So um, if you didn't get them, share this Facebook Live video right here anytime between now and our next Facebook Live video. Share my class to go kit post, which I will show you that just a little bit. I posted that earlier this week. You can find that right here on our um, group, the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio group. If you share that on your personal page or any other um, crafting groups that you're a part of. I truly appreciate that. Your name will go in the drawing to win. These, you can't even get them now. Um, gold swirly adhesive backed, what are they called? Gold adhesive backed swirls. Okay, I kind of had it about right, right? Okay, so, and then the last way is sign up for my email list, which I always like say, the link above this Facebook Live video will include, or the details will include the link to sign up for my email list if you haven't done that already. So we will draw for these, and can you guys see, there we go, if we get super close, right? You can see the little swirlies in them. So they're just these beautiful little gold swirly accents that are just kind of a fun little addition to, again, your holiday projects or maybe um, your fun like winter projects that you'll be making um, as we get cozy here for winter. I feel like winter like kind of came out of nowhere. We had such a great fall with such great weather for so long. And man, winter is here now, at least in Michigan. So. Um, okay, so yeah, we'll draw for those on our next Facebook Live, which I will mention that's going to be two weeks from today. So not next Friday the 9th, but the following week on December 16th. Friday, December 16th will be our next Facebook Live, and that's when we will draw for those um, gold adhesive backed swirls. Okay. So, all right, let's see what else. Oh, actually, I wanted to give a congratulations. We had a couple of our Inkspired Stamper team members promote uh, in November. So Miss Elsie Lynch, she just bought the starter kit recently and she has already sold uh, more than seven, or excuse me, $900 in product. So she actually advanced to what we call qualified team member, which is what happens when you reach $900 in sales after you get the starter kit. Plus you get 20% discount or income if you're selling um, off of those sales too. So congratulations to Elsie. That was pretty awesome for her. And then also, hi Debbie, thanks for joining us. And then also Miss Beth Martin, who I think is still on here, she was on here earlier, hopefully, uh, just promoted to Bronze Elite, which is an awesome, awesome accomplishment. The cool part about that is she now gets a 25% discount or earns 25% income on everything that she sells. So you reach Bronze Elite or promote to Bronze Elite status when you have $1,800 in sales. So Elsie, who got to qualify team member, is like halfway to um, getting to Bronze Elite. And like I said, Miss Beth Martin just promoted to Bronze Elite. So congratulations, Elsie and Beth. And I see Kay, you're so cute. Uh, yes, the little hand clap. I think that's such a fun um, emoji too. So yeah, so congratulations, ladies. That was fun to see your names popping up in on my reports and kind of seeing that you guys are doing such a great job. So keep up the good work. Keep working hard and plugging along and doing what you're doing because you're doing a great job. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hi, Debbie. Watching from, wait, are you, I think you weren't in Ohio before, right? Or did you move or are you just maybe away for a little while? So um, yeah, you'll have to let us know what's going on, but I'm glad you can watch today with us, hanging out with us, right? Okay. So let's see. I feel like I, did I pass something? Nope. I think um yeah we're doing all right okay so um if you are new to facebook live because i know sometimes especially over on youtube we've got some new people that might be watching with us i want to make sure that you know how, what my deal is how it works around here um i make two projects every single facebook live and if you put an online order in through me using the host code you get those two projects um, with your, if it's at least a minimum $50 order, you get these two projects. For example, these are the two that I made on our last Facebook Live featuring that jingle, jingle, jingle stamp set, right? So this is part of your thank you package. You get these two cards from me as a thank you. You also get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, which for December actually includes that card right there. This is my project. Um, oh, Debbie's going to a Reba concert. Oh, cool. Have fun. That sounds like an awesome time, right? Oh my gosh. Very, very cool. Okay. So yeah, so you can pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, which includes this project right here that I made, and then lots of other super cute um, kind of 
uh, winter theme, was it um, winter kind of Christmas theme projects in there, or the free embellishment for December, which I still have to figure out what it is, so I'm not even showing you what that is, um, but I'll get that ordered um, today, actually, so I'll have those all ready to go um, if you decide you want the free embellishment instead of the PDF tutorial. Plus, your name is in the drawing to win the Cheerful Basket stamp set. So that's what we're gonna do now is draw for this Cheerful Basket stamp set. Such a cute stamp set. There's a fun little set of dies that go with it also. Um, so yeah, I think just so cute. I was I kinda went back to annual catalog stuff because I figured, I don't know, this is always a little bit of a tough time. Like I figure most everybody has probably what they need or like last minute they're gonna be um, <clears throat> getting it, right? So, plus it was so cute. Like I kind of skipped a lot of fun stuff in that annual catalog. So I thought that was a really cute stamp set, that cheerful basket stamp set. Okay, so the winner, I feel like I jumped past something, but I don't, I guess not. Okay, here we go. We are, let's see, the winner is Miss Monica Talbot. All right, congratulations, Monica. You are the winner of the Cheerful Basket stamp set. So I will get that sent out to you, ma'am. Okay, now, okay, for our next drawing that we'll do, again, two weeks from today on December 16th, you get those, the two cards I'm gonna make, you get to pick from the free embellishment or the PDF tutorial, and you also get your name in the drawing. This is a super cute new stamp set. This is one of the celebration stamp sets, and I think this is gonna be one of the hot, hot items. I'm already like, oh my gosh, this is my only one and I'm giving it away, so I gotta make sure I get another one ASAP. But look at, this is the Adorable Owls stamp set, right? So look at these cute little bug-eyed owls. And I love owls myself. I just think they're so interesting. Um, maybe because, you know, they can like turn their heads so far around and my neck is really bothering me right now. So I feel like I wish I was an owl because that seems like that would be a good, <laughs> that would be a good way to get the kink out of my neck, right? But okay, so in addition to the cute little owls, right, we've got sentiments. My friend, it's your day and hoot, hoot, you're so cute. I love that. Super duper, super duper cute, right? So fun stamp set right there. This is what we're going to give away. Part of celebration. So this is one of those items that starting January 5th, I think it is, you can get for free with a $50 order. But I thought, why not? I'm going to give this stamp set away to one lucky person. Just put your online order in through me um, using my host code and your name will go in the drawing for our next Facebook Live. Okay. All right. Um, well, I guess, so speaking of celebration, I wanna make sure that you guys all know about that. Again, I can't show you the inside of the catalog, but I, I'm sure I did show you these because I had them after I came back from on stage um, in November. So this is the little celebration brochure, runs from January 5 through only through February 28th. And my understanding is we're only doing one celebration in 2023. So it's actually only two months long, right? Like last, in this year in 2022, we had January and February, and then we had like July and August, I think it was. Hi, Danielle. Thanks for joining us. So anyway, you've got very limited time here, right, to get an order in, get your free stuff. Um, and then our new mini catalog, it will be going live also on January 5th. If you are interested in getting the starter kit um, in December, which is picking $125 in product and paying only $99 plus sales tax, you can actually order items out of our new mini catalog. Then you can put your first order in in December because as demonstrators, we can get celebration stuff even in December. So for every $50 that you order after you get the starter kit, you get your 20% discount and you get free celebration stuff too. So something to think about if you've been, maybe that'd be a great Christmas present for yourself, right? Is the Stampin' Up! Starter Kit. And then, like I said, you've got the gift that we'll keep on giving all year long um, or forever, right? Until you don't want to um, use your discount any longer, but you get that 20% discount on everything um, that you order after you get the starter kit. And I love, I remember one friend of mine saying, it's kind of like walking into Target, which I think we all, like at least I know how much I love Target. And so, you know, like the greeter at the front door, like giving you a 20% coupon, like that's kind of what this is like, right? After you get the starter kit, it's like stamping up, greets you at the door and gives you a 20% uh, coupon off of anything that you wanna order anytime you ever wanna get it. And who wouldn't love that, right? Like walking into Target and getting a 20% coupon because things are not cheap at Target either, I don't think, but I love that store. So anyway, same kind of idea, right? 20% discount on your Stampin' Up! orders as well. 
Okay. <clears throat> oh, I know. I have one more thing I want to show you guys, and then we're going to flip the camera down. So these were some cute little treats that I made for all of my club members um, in, I guess it would be November, right? Yeah. <laughs> like what month are we in? Sometimes they do all start to blur together. And this actually, this is perfect timing. It features that framed and festive stamp set that we're going to play with in just a sec. So this one says, tis the season to be jolly. And I use some of the little sequins. And then this is my favorite. I might have even used, I'm trying to think if I used that punch again or not. I think maybe I did because it fits so well on that decorative circle punch. Um, and then the little circles there too. You're welcome, Fina, Philomena. I'm glad you enjoyed that little, the treat box. Super simple and easy too. I'm going to get a blog post put up. Um, you can see it's just like a little like treat bag. So you could put, I always love to put candy and chocolate and stuff in mine, but you could put um, maybe like a little bar of soap or hand sanitizers, um, lots of different things. Um, it measures, you know, it's, I don't know, is it like three, four inches, I would say by four inches tall four inches tall, four inches wide about. So fun little treat there um, that I made for everybody in November. And I'll be sharing my December club member treat very shortly. Very excited about that one as well. So, um, okay, I think, yeah, that's like the teaser. That's all I'm gonna tell you about that. Okay, I think we are ready. I keep looking. Yeah, okay, I just clean my table off a little bit and then we are going to flip the camera down and keep on stamping and chatting, okay? All right, <clears throat> need a quick sip of water too. <laughs> okay. Oh, I moved my list though, that, that will not. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, I'm totally lost. Hi Carla, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Okay, yeah, so I'm like, oh, I'm, I moved it like just out of eyesight and I'm like, oh, I can't do this. <laughs> that would be really tough for me. Okay, actually, I'm going to move the host code in because we have a new host code for December. Since it is December, can you guys believe it, though? All right, turn your heads away. We are flying through the air. I flip the camera down and keep doing our stamping. Stormy the puppy is still thinking there might be somebody at the door, but there's not, Storm, I promise, at least not at this moment anyway. Okay. Let's see, excuse me, I've got the sniffles, so cold going on. Let's see if we move that, there we go. Okay, all right, this is our host code for December, the HJKCY6AD, so make sure you use that host code when you order. Get all your good stuff from the clearance rack and the last chance lists. Okay, so I have a couple of cards I wanted to share with you guys. Um, this one... Kay, who is, I think, watching, maybe still. Um, Kay Jacoby sent me this card. Um, super cute and simple with a little thankful stamp on it. And I just love, she's just so sweet. She says, Dear Amy, I'm so thankful for you and all you do. You are so special. Here is a card I made, and she writes, way back when I was just um, learning and have learned so much from you. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Love, Kay. So just a super cute, simple. But I love, like, she, I think she's always, like, like a little like, oh, I don't know if I should send my really, really simple cards when she was just starting. I remember my really, really simple cards too when I was just starting also. But the thing is you felt so proud because you stamped that, right? And it actually was like in line, like it wasn't crooked and you didn't get a bunch of ink around the edges, which this is like, when you think about it, she stamped right on this card base, which is not easy to do. I would generally stamp on something else and like die cut it out just so I make sure I don't mess up my card front, right? So she was pretty daring in a couple of things here, I'd say. Yeah, so even though it is simple, super beautiful, and the sentiment and words inside mean more than anything else. So thank you, Miss Kay. And then here's another fun card. This was one that I received from uh, Shannon West, who is our demonstrator development manager in the Great Lakes region. So she's um, one of the corporate team members from Stampin' Up. And this is cute though, right? The, you, you're absolutely amazing. And I love this stamp set too. And she's got some fun um, designer series paper there. So she says, you've done it again, Amy. You've earned the Norway trip. Woohoo! It's an incredible thing to watch you excel year after year. You are amazing. Heart 
heart, Shannon. Oh, she's still cute. That's funny. Kay says, I'm still doing simple cards. Must be my trademark. Yes, absolutely. It's my trademark too, for sure, Kay. So yeah, so I thought that was very, very sweet that Shannon sent that as well too. So they love to recognize uh, demonstrators at Stampin' Up! And I think they do a fabulous job at that also. And they love to send cards, right? Handmade cards, because that's what we're doing around here, right? Okay, I want to show you guys the, <clears throat> let's see, what do I have here? I got, I've got a bunch of stuff, I feel like. I want to show you guys my Cottage Rose class to go. Let's see here. Oh, it's because I have the designer series paper, but check out, these are the dies, right? If you guys haven't seen my um, Facebook Live video yet, check that out, but I'm gonna give you, or excuse me, my YouTube video, but I'm gonna give you all the details right now too, in case you haven't heard. Again, I went back to an annual catalog uh, bundle that I kind of overlooked when I was first um, kind of going through the catalog and I circled back to it, especially because I love this designer series paper, the Abigail Rose designer series paper. So I'll show you that in just a sec. Actually, I'm going to show it to you right now, now that I think about it, but I don't think there, now I have all of it. Like I didn't feel like I had all the sheets. So check out this paper. This is what inspired me to I'm missing, oh, it's right there. I'm going to say I was missing one, but this is what inspired me to use this stamp set and dies and the designer series paper. It was mainly the designer series paper that I've been like really wanting to play with for a long time. So I thought, let's do a class to go on it, right? So yes, it is a beautiful bundle, isn't it, Miss Philomena? And then here is the backside also. So just really soft, beautiful tones um, in the designer series paper. And this is the flowers, like check out, this is probably my favorite. I love are those tulips? I think. I don't, I don't know. Maybe they're not tulips. Well, rose, I guess. Maybe they're different kind of roses. I don't know. It looks like they were laughing at me, I think, at um, our meeting because I gave this away recently too. So definitely in love with this right now. Um, yeah. So Cottage Rose Designer Series paper. Okay. So then the bundle too. All right. Let me just show you the products and then I'll tell you about the different options, right? So the Cottage Rose stamp set, we have best wishes. It's going to be fab. I think that's super cute. Happy birthday. You are positively the greatest. Friends forever and feel better real soon. And then all oh, that beautiful floral, I guess, cottage rose imagery, which is kind of fun. So then it works with these dies also. So you can see this die cuts out this flower. This leaf right here is cut out right there, right? Or this leaf there, right? The other cool thing though, this flower comes out of here and these three flowers, I think come out of that right there. So you've got this big, beautiful die that you could stamp or you could just die cut with it too. So very, very pretty, huh? Right, and then um, I also include the white crinkled seam binding ribbon and a package of the rustic metallic dots, which you can see they come in two different sizes. They got the smaller ones and the larger ones. This is all I have left of my package right now though, so I can't show you any more than that. But okay, so oh, let me show you the cards too. So four different cards, we make two of each of them in the class to go. So first one is this happy birthday. And then we did a little stamping on the inside. We've got the feel better real soon with that little fun fold. I kind of did fun folds on all of them. You are positively the greatest friends forever. And then best wishes. And then on the inside, that one right there. So those are the four cards that you will make in this class to go. Option number one includes the stamp set and the dies. So that is a 50 $3 value for that bundle alone. You get a quarter pack, so you're gonna get a six by 12 piece of the Abigail Rose Designer Series paper. And actually in option number one, you get that for free. You also get a package of the rustic metallic dots, um, the full bolt of the white seam binding ribbon, and the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step -step how to put your projects together. So option number one is $92. Option number two is always without the bundle. So no stamp set or dies. You get the ribbon, you get the um, rustic metallic dots and a quarter pack of the designer series paper. Oh yeah, plus all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards. So eight cards total and the PDF tutorial that comes with option number one and option number two. I think I forgot to say that earlier. Uh, option number two is $33. Um, let's see if you need them shipped to you, option number one or option number two, it's an additional $10 for the priority mail shipping. 
You can get the PDF tutorial for $15 anytime. It's always available, even after the RSVP deadline passes. Um, option number four is for my downline. Any of my inspired stampers can get all the parts and pieces to make these cards for just $12. They can also actually get the PDF tutorial for free too for being uh, part of my team. Um, let's see, RSVPs are due by Friday, December 23rd, and the kits will ship out no later than January 4th. Okay, so if you are interested, these cards, I just love, I thought that ribbon was perfect and the dots too, kind of, because it's a little bit, um, I don't know, cottage rose, that it's just a little bit rustic or something almost with the dots and the ribbon. I just thought it all worked really, really well together. So I was very happy with how those cards turn out. So hopefully you enjoy those and would like to do that as well. Okay, um, let's see. Storm, you're still waiting for something big to happen, aren't you? <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen, but oh, I'm glad you like those cards, Philomena. I was really excited about them too, like I said. Okay, all right. I think we are ready to show our projects. Okay, so I've got this up so you guys can see what's going on, right? Okay. Mm. So again, we are playing with the framed and festive stamp set. So now it's not upside down or inside out or with a glare, right? So those are all the fun sentiments. I, there's just, I think they're fun. The sentiments are fun. And then I, like I said, I've said this a million times, but I love that mixed font, like with the block and then the cursive there. So super cute stamp set. And then here is the black and white designs, designer series paper. And I only have this little piece left of that polka dot. <laughs> so these are the other patterns in the black and white designs. So actually, maybe if I go like that, right, then you can't tell. Okay, so there's, that's the black and white on one side, and then they did like a gray and white, and there's that one. We'll put that one right there again, right? Then the gray and white there. I get so excited to look at it myself that I forget to like look and see what you guys are seeing on <laughs> the camera too. So there, hopefully I hopefully I showed all of those well enough, right? So just super like fun, bold, um, bright even, right? With the black and white just pops right off the page and off your card. So okay, let me show you. Here is card number one. And this is definitely a fun, fun, fun fold. Oh, yes, you're so sweet that, that Beth is talking about the downline PDF. So she actually, I think maybe she's talking about the PDF tutorial with the 16 projects. You get those for free also for being one of my Inspired Stamper team members also. So, okay. All right. So this is our first card. It's a Merry Christmas card, right? And it opens up. Oh, storm. I don't think there's anybody here. So we've got from our home to yours and then the little Merry Christmas right there, right? Willow Dean, hello. So glad you can join us. Okay, so let me show you how to make this card. I will actually preface Storm, that's enough, that I received this swap card. And I apologize, the name is not on the back of it. Whenever I participate in swaps, we send them in like clear cello envelopes. And then usually somebody either puts a sticky or their business card or their name. So anyway, when I took it out of the cello envelope, the clear envelope, I didn't keep whoever made this card. And I apologize because I, I loved it so much, right? Especially that fun fold. So I've been hanging on to it. So this is obviously a Halloween card, but this is definitely what inspired my card right here was the basic layout, right? Hers has been smooshed down. So mine is like flopping up. But once you, it will fit in an envelope just fine. It's the regular size, right? Um, but isn't that so cute? So like I said, whoever designed this card, thank you so much. Love the inspiration. Love the fun fold. Can't wait to show you guys what, how to put this card together. Okay. And actually, here's another one, too. I forgot. I did this one maybe on a Facebook Live. I can't remember. But it's the same kind of idea. This one uses designer series paper. And this was one of our celebration papers, maybe either from last year or the year before. But same kind of idea with that little, like, kind of accordion fold, the way it opens, and then attached there. A little bit different sizing. And then that one uses designer series paper, which is very pretty also, right, instead of this one uses um, Coastal Cabana cardstock. But anyway, so, so fun. 
love that layout. Okay, so here we go. Let me pull out what we're using. I have my little scribble notes on <laughs> dimensions too. Okay. <clears throat> my little stamps and everything. Okay, so let me tell you about sizes. Okay, so this one's a little bit different. This one, this is actually... So this is a piece of, is that the way I want to do it? We're going to go this way. I'm trying to think of how I want to tell you about the score marks, right? Okay, so this was a full sheet when it came out to the eight and a half by 11, right? So I cut this along the eight and a half inch side. I cut it down at five and one quarter, and then I left it at 11 inches. So the card base, essentially, this Coastal Cabana piece. Hi, Cheryl, how are you? Thanks for joining us today starts out at five and one quarter by 11 inches, okay? Then we are gonna score it at three and a half inches, five and one quarter, and seven inches, okay? So just like this thing folds, right? We're gonna fold that in, we're gonna fold that back, and that there, and that there, okay? So there's gonna be your accordion fold just like we have right there, okay? You also have essentially well, kind of a card base that is a quarter of a sheet of basic black card stock. So imagine the eight and a half by 11. We cut it in half at five and a half inches, and then we cut it in half again at four and a quarter inches. So this is kind of that one quarter of a sheet of card stock, four and one quarter by five and a half. And that is going to layer on the back right there like that, okay? And then we also have a piece of basic white card stock that's gonna go on the inside right there. This one measures five inches by three and three quarter inches right there, okay? Then we have our basic black, which is that little piece right there. This one measures three inches by six inches, and you're gonna score it at three inches. If I'm going too fast or you're missing something, just know that I'll put all of these details on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon, okay? So don't stress if you're not getting all the details right now. Two pieces of basic white cardstock that measure two and three quarters by two and three quarters, I think. Let me make sure on that. Yep, two and three quarters by two and three quarters. One's gonna go there and one is gonna go there. And then we have two pieces of the black and white designs, designer series paper, okay? those two right there. And then these measure one and a half by five inches. So you've got two of those and those are going to go right there and there. Okay. And then I just have some scraps to do my stamping of my snowflakes and my um, sentiment here too. So, all right, let's go ahead and we're going to do our stamping first because we have, there's a bit of stamping and die cutting and so on. This one is definitely a little more detailed. The next one has a huge um, kind of bold impact, but not nearly as um, kind of detailed, I guess I would say. But I think this is definitely worth the effort. The um, the fun factor is is very high on this one too. So, okay. All right. Let's see. Actually, scoot that over there. And these things, we are going to have to die cut with that little thingy. I'll tell you about that in a sec. You know, we're going to die cut with that little thingy. Does that make any sense at all? No, not right now, but it will. Okay. So, Actually, instead, <laughs> so I know what I'm doing here, I'm going to pull that back into view because we're going to stamp those snowflakes, okay? So those snowflakes actually come from love, 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 love the stamp set. We did this one in a class to go a few months ago, but this is the Joyful Flurry stamp set. So we're going to use this stamp and this stamp and then that little baby one right there too, Okay. So let's do our stamping. Coastal Cabana ink, so fun, and cardstock. The beauty of Stampin' Up! that the ink and the cardstock, embellishments, all of those work so well together, right? Everything coordinates. Okay, so nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. We were just at scrapbook class this week, and there's a gal there that always likes to get ink everywhere, and I said, no, Sandy, just tap, 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 which I know I get kind of made fun of for that sometimes, right? But it definitely does work, tap, tap, tap. So then she's over there. It was so cute. So Sandy, she's working with her friend Gail, and she's over there going, no, Gail, tap, 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 tap. <laughs> So it was, it was, it was very cute. Like it, it worked. I think it helped her a little bit. So 
you know, because if you don't stamp much, especially scrapbooking, which I never really understood um, that a lot of scrapbookers didn't actually stamp. Because when I first started, that's what we did. I went to a scrapbook class and we stamped on our pages and we did all that stuff. So I didn't realize it like scrapbooking was a thing upside down, but super cute still, right? Merry Christmas. Um, that scrapbooking was a thing before stamping, I guess, maybe, which maybe that makes sense, right? Okay. Um, we're going to come back to that one in a sec. I'm going to, so we're going to use these dies right here, which I'm going to tell you what those are in just a sec when I find them. Huh, where are they? Oh yeah, I see them now. <laughs> I'm like, I, I moved them. Where did they go? Okay, we're good. Okay, so let's, we're going to die cut these things first. And actually, just for my own purposes, I think it's easier when everything is separate. So then if things are winging around like on the uh, die cutting machine, um, you can move one thing instead of trying to, oops, sorry. I kind of bonked that, didn't I? Everybody okay? Are we swinging around a bit? Okay. So let me show you what we're working with because I did use a few different sets of dies. Actually, I'm going to trim that off too. Okay. So let me show you what we're playing with here. Okay. All right. So first of all, we have the dies that go with the Joyful Flurry. These are called the Frosted Flurry dies. They are still available. I think these are not carrying over. Don't quote me on that for sure, though. I forget. I looked at that carryover list from the holiday catalog a couple weeks ago, and now I'm like brain dead. I have no idea what's carrying over. <laughs> not much, though. I will say that. <laughs> okay, so this is what I was talking about. That one is finally where I want it. So keep a separate, it's easier to have them on separate pieces of paper. So if you have to move the paper around, you're not worrying about moving that die on that stamp too, right? Okay, and then we've got this one. All right, I think I should have my glasses on right now, shouldn't I? Let me grab those. I do, I remember to bring them over now. Okay. And then also, this is one of my favorite little labels in the hydrangea dies. I use this little baby. I've used it. I kind of rediscovered it. So the hydrangea dies are gorgeous, right? And look at that cute little one there too. But this guy with the little stitching, love that thing. Use that all the time. It fits perfectly around that Merry Christmas sentiment. Once I get it laid on there, it will. It just fits because I will show you um, on the Halloween card that I received with that cute little witch she actually stamped right on the on the white piece so she stamped right on here but i was having a really hard time like getting it oh and you actually it's barely um over enough there too right with this little um die cutting around there the embossing right there so i was like okay we're just going to stamp that and then put it on there instead of um, here, I'll show you. So this is what I'm talking about. She did so well. Like, look, I think she had um, a photopolymer stamp. So these, like this one is the red rubber, so it's a little bit harder to line up. Um, but you can see, like, she fit that in there perfectly. That was not going to happen for me. So, you know, just find a die and use it. Do that way instead. Okay. So hopefully none of those move. All right. So again, like I said, I will... Um, make sure to tell you everything that I used, all the item codes, the measurements, colors, everything on my blog this afternoon at gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, so that's that one. Ooh, look at that cute little baby one. So sweet, huh? And then this little guy there also. Okay, so those are all good. Let's get these tucked away. I'm trying to keep myself <laughs> mildly organized. Would I say? Yeah, I'd say mildly. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then, oh yeah, this label. Check this one out too. Ah, yes, thank you, Anna. I know, the black and white and then with the Coastal Cabana. I love it too. So isn't that so sweet? Perfect little die right there. Okay. All right, now <laughs> we're going to have to actually maybe do, will they all fit? They might. Well, actually, they won't because I've got to do it too. We're going to have to go this way, though, aren't we? Right. Okay. So let me show you. I'm like talking and not explaining very well, right? Okay. 
Okay, so what are these called? <laughs> the stitched with whimsy dies. So, so cool. So they don't actually cut anything out though. They just put the stitching around, right? So we're gonna put that one on there and that one on. Okay, so those are what we have left, right? So you just want to get it um, kind of evenly spaced in your rectangle and in your square, right? So this is why I didn't stamp my sentiment on this piece right here. I want to I want to get that in and then I'm going to center that. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully I say cuz again I'm dealing with the red rubber stamp. So um let's see. Okay, so we're going to run these through. Okay. Click 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 and then we're going to do one more because both of these little guys need this piece right here. So isn't that so cool? Love that, huh? Just that little stitched with whimsy. And then there's that one right there also. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one back on here. We're gonna run it back through. That looks good. And the kind of good thing is like, they're a little whimsical and not super symmetrical anyway. Sorry, I know that's wiggling a bit. Um, so if you don't, you know, as long as you get it close to even around the edges, it's really not gonna be a big deal, right? Okay, so there's that. All right, I'm gonna scoot this baby out of the way. All right, now let's, I think we're almost ready. I want to do my stamping on this one piece. So again, we're gonna bring that card back in. We're gonna do this from our home to yours. And in taking a look at it, the from is pretty even across the top. So actually we're gonna scoot this over here. A nice easy tap, tap, tap. And I'm gonna line, hopefully. And again, I don't think it's gonna matter if it's not totally perfect, but I think that looks pretty darn good, right? So from our home to yours, Merry Christmas. All right, I think we have all of our pieces here. Where am I? Oh, <laughs> there we go. I'm like, I covered something up and now I can't find it. And I know I brought dimensionals. And there we go. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so let's see. What are we going to do first? We're going to find our adhesive. And we are going to, let's just start with the back. We're going to build from the bottom up, right? Okay, so we're going to add, run it and tip it back, Amy. Run it and tip it back. Run it and tip it back. Whoops, run it and tip it back. We're going to do that one more. Okay, I think it's... Um, there, there we go. Although it almost, yeah, I think I've got it kind of, you can see, let me just show you guys, because if you can kind of see that was running like full width and then this looks kind of skinny. So, oh yeah, I've kind of got this coming off the edge here. So make sure you get that back so the whole width of it is on there so you get all of the adhesive when you run that and that'll help give you more adhesive. You can see right there, also how skinny that is. Okay, you gotta make sure. I guess it doesn't matter. If I were to put this on upside down, I could just flip it around, right? Which I think I kinda wanna hold it this way anyway. Okay, so we are going to, I'm gonna press super firmly to make sure that stays on there well, okay. Next, I am going to, hi Diane, how are you? So I don't know if you heard me. I think I saw you pop on Facebook Live um, the other day, but I have a little thank you package for you out on my porch from your last online order. So stop by and pick that up anytime. Please, please, please. I definitely, I want you to have all the goodies that are in there. Okay, so I'm going to grab my little silicone mat because I think, there, now we got that working again. Um, it's handy to use that so that you don't get adhesive, especially when you're working with like little teeny tiny pieces. Okay, so I want to scoot that over because the idea is when this is there, I still want to be able to see the Merry Christmas, right? Okay, next, scoot that guy out of the way for a sec. We are going to add our designer series paper to our little folds, okay? So we're gonna put one right here and I am trying, I don't know if you'd really notice, but I am trying to make sure that this pattern is lined up. So this one to this one. So instead of this one going this way, I want it to be this way because that 
lines up. Okay, so that's maybe something to think about when you're putting your card together, right? Okay, now we are going to, I'm gonna add a strip right there. You don't wanna put adhesive on this half though. Hi, thanks Diane, <laughs> I'm glad you like this project. Okay, so um, what was I thinking? Actually, I'm gonna do this side first, okay? I was trying to remember, how did I do this? You know, it's been like two days since I did this card. <laughs> And a lot's happened since then, I will tell you. Okay, so we're going to just lay that right on there. So what I was saying is you don't want to get adhesive on this side. You only want it on this side, right? Because it's only going to stick right here. So we're going to put that right there, and that's going to look good. Okay, so then we are going to flip this over. And same idea, you don't want adhesive on that half. You only want it on this half right here. So I'm going to turn sideways and do that. And... I found that it was easiest. How did I find? <laughs> what did I find? Now I'm trying to remember what did I find, right? Um, oh, this way. <laughs> I was like, how did I do this? So th this will just fold straight in half, right? So there, that's going to go like that, and then it opens. So it doesn't open all the way, so don't try to adhere this when this is flat because you don't want it flat, Okay. So if that makes sense, just flip it over and adhere it once you have this flat, right? Okay, there we go, there's that. All right, so now we are gonna add our sentiment from our home to yours. We're gonna put that right here, okay? We're gonna add this one on the front, oops, of our card, right? We're gonna put this one right here. Okay, next I'm gonna grab, actually, I'm gonna just put this one on with adhesive. Okay, we're gonna put that. Ooh, I love, look at all that detail on that. Isn't that beautiful? Love that snowflake. And then these guys, we're gonna pop up on dimensionals, okay? So this one, Going to use a big dimensional. This one we're going to use one of the minis because it's kind of a mini little guy there. Okay, so we are going to add this one right there, and then we are going to add this one right on here. And of course, you know me, I was almost done, but not quite. So I have the glossy dots assortment pack, and I'm not even sure. This is a couple packs now that I'm looking at it, but this is just how I, this is how I do things. If I end up with multiple packs or little pieces, I just kind of put them all together in one of my little clear cello envelope baggies. Okay, so we have, I don't even know if this is Coastal Cabana. I feel like it might even be more like pool party. Um, but anyway, it's one of those colors that you can kind of bend to be the color that you want. I'd say Gorgeous Grape, Melon Mambo, and I think maybe Crushed Curry are the other colors, but I thought these worked perfectly. So we're gonna add that little guy right there. Well, hello, Miss Deb Northrup. No need to apologize for being late. I'm glad you can join us whenever you can. There we go, okay. So the little glossy dots just add a little something fun to our project. Okay, so there we go. From our home to yours, Merry Christmas. So fun, huh? and such a fun, fun fold too, right? Okay, so there is project number one. And like I said, this other one is, um, not that that was complicated, but there are a few more steps. Um, this one is quite, well, like a simple, but like I said, it packs a big wow factor, I think. And it's basically that designer series paper. And then the, again, the fun sentiment, tis the season to be jolly and then fa la la on the inside, okay? <laughs> yes, so the black and white with a pop of color, that's kind of what I went with um, for these cards today, and I just think so, so, so fun. Okay, so let me grab what we need for this one now. Mm. And a sip of water. Okay. Yes, okay. <clears throat> okay, so let me tell you. Our dimensions for this one, we have, this is a polished pink card base, and I'll show you. This is a full sheet of polished pink cardstock right here. 
So along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches, okay? And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it essentially at two and three quarters on each end. Two and three quarters here and eight and a quarter here, but it's the same, right? Okay, so two and three quarters on each end. Those are gonna fold in like that, okay? Just like that on that one. Then let me show you the pieces for the inside. We have Parakeet Party, kind of that fun bright green, three and three quarters by five. That goes on the inside. And then basic white, three and a half by four and three quarters, okay? Then for the outside of the card, I'll do that to kind of hold it in there, okay? We have our, again, more Parakeet Party cardstock that measures two and a half by four. And those are the pieces that go on the flaps right there behind the DSP. And then the designer series paper measures two and one quarter by three and three quarters. And those are gonna layer right on top of there. And then I just have scrap pieces of polished pink, Parakeet Party and Basic White for our little sentiment right there, okay? So let's see, these are all just ready to go, aren't they? Um, let's do our stamping. Actually, we need to stamp on this one, don't we, right? Okay. So I've got my Parakeet Party ink. We're going to do that little fa-la-la on the inside first. Again, using our Framed and Festive stamp set. Such a cute stamp set. And again, only available while supplies last. So make sure you get it while you can. Okay, so tap, 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 press straight down, lift straight up. Yay! So cute. Fa la la. <laughs> okay, and then on this one, we're going to stamp in polished pink our Tis the Season to Be Jolly. Let's get that up there. Okay, and we're going to punch this one. Hello, Miss Karen. How are you? Thanks for joining us. There we go. Tis the Season to Be Jolly. Okay, we're going to use our love, 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 love this punch, the decorative circle punch. And I'm going to just make sure, and you guys know, right, if you kind of squeeze it, but don't push all the way, you can kind of assess, like, do I like that? Does that look good? And then I use two hands and just punch away there, okay? All right, then we need a couple of circles. We're going to use our oldie but goodie uh layering circle dies. These are actually the two largest. So the largest scallop edge and the largest straight edge in the layering circle dies. Okay. So you can see, like I said, a simple card, but huge pop, huge wow factor, I think, on this one. As I'm thinking, I need to make some more Christmas cards to send out to all of you. Um, maybe this would be a fun one. I have to see how much DSP I have. Yeah, okay, the wheels are turning because I, I was thinking this weekend, like, I really got to get on that. I have a bunch made, but I need a bunch more still. So, okay, there we go. There is our parakeet party circle and our polished pink scallopy circle. Okay. And as I'm thinking about that, if you are not on my email list already watching Facebook Live, make sure you do that and include your address so that then I can send you a Christmas card, okay? Yeah, I gotta make sure that I have everybody's addresses. Okay, all right, I think we are ready to put things together. So we're gonna just start right here with our little sentiment, tis the season to be jolly. We're gonna just add that. This just layers so perfectly right on here. I just love it. Where did I, my dimensionals are all like covered up. Here they are, okay. So I'm gonna add a couple of dimensionals behind this guy, okay. And then I'm gonna just toss these off the side where my maid slash me <laughs> can clean them up later. All right, next we are going to add adhesive on this basic white piece for the inside of the care card. We're gonna put that on our parakeet party piece, okay? Then we are going to add this piece to the inside. Fa la la, so cute, so, so, so cute. Okay, next we're gonna add our parakeet party cardstock to the outside flaps of our card, okay? Oops, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna turn this one in right there. 
and then this one can go right there. All right, next, our designer series paper. So this is the fun, right? Black and white on one side, and then generally gray and white on the other side. There's one pattern that didn't work that way, but for the most part, that's how they all were, but just really fun, like bold patterns on this paper with the black and white. Is this, I don't know, um, I guess these are diamonds, kind of the diamond print. And again, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that, let's see, I guess that looks like the same way, doesn't it? Um, at least that, you know, they're kind of lining up from side to side there. Okay, and then we're going to add this. I only want to put adhesive, again, only on the one side, not both sides, because I want to be able to open this card, right? So we're going to put that right there. And I didn't get any adhesive too far over, so that's good, right? All right, next we are going to use our, oh, still love it, the black and white gingham ribbon. Going to tie a little bow. Where do we go? Okay, we're going to tie a little bow. <laughs> we're going to tie a little bow. I'm like talking to the bow. We're going to tie a little bow. Come on, bow. Let me, let my fingers work, please. Okay. This, so we're going to do that one. Trim that off, right? I am going to grab my little mini glue dots that are, I finally have a package that are on the wrong side, so you have to like flip it back. I thought maybe I had avoided getting a package of those. I had for a long time, and then I, you know, I have a little stash of them, so apparently they were tucked away in my stash, soon to be found, right? Okay, then last step, we have, these are the classic matte dots. So they come in a basic white, very vanilla, basic gray, and a basic black. And then you've got kind of small and medium size there, right? So I just added a couple of them. I'm going to add one of the larger black dots, like right there, and then one of the small little black dots. We are going to add maybe, eh, we'll put it up there. There we go. Okay. So... What do you think, ladies? Huh? <laughs> I'm like so excited. I think these cards are just so stinking cute, right? And the black and white. I love like black and white with a pop of color. That's what we went with today, right? And that framed and festive stamp set. Again, make sure you get this while you can, while supplies last, okay? Not in the catalog either. This is the code too. The 160888 is the item code for that. But I'll include it in my blog gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon too. Okay, so in case you don't know how it works around here, your name is entered into the drawing to win the awesome Adorable Owls stamp set, something you can only get through celebrations starting January 5th, right? But you can get one early through me if you order online, spend at least $50, use this host code right here. You also get both of these projects, super fun little black and white with a pop of color projects as a thank you from me. And you get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, or I'm gonna show this one right here because this was last month's the Champagne Rhinestones. You get to pick a free embellishment or the 16 Project PDF tutorial. All of that as a thank you for ordering through me. If you bump your order up to over $100, you also get five free handmade cards from me in addition to all this other good stuff. So thank you guys. I'm glad you enjoyed the cards. It was great hanging out with you today. Um, I hope you guys have a great beginning of December, a great beginning of the holiday season. And we'll see you back here two weeks from today on December 16th for our next Facebook Live. Bye everybody. Thank you.